Hello my fellow lobsters and welcome back to another Bed Wars making video. So, in the last episode we covered how to give how to force the players to be unable to attack each other and also how to make it so that the um you can show the rules and how you can get to the team or the team selector. So, basically, we have our friend the Bro Republic over here. We are doing a 100 subscriber challenge with them. Um first one to 100 subscribers wins. La uh, loser gets to do something funny that we still haven't decided yet so either way we are going to go and work on our map so if we click this choose team button if you remember from laps last episode it should teleport us to right here which is perfect that's exactly what we want to happen and now we just have to create the actual team selector so this is just like the sort of mini lobby that we're adding and the team selector will teleport the players but it will also get rid of the pressure plates when they are um there so basically we have we're gonna do this and we don't actually have to get rid of the pressure plates we can just do it slash test four which is what i'm going to be doing um because getting rid of the pressure plates can be um can take up a lot more command space so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create this area around here i'm just gonna make it a little bigger and here we go so there. So this is going to be our base lobby area for this thing, and we are going to put all this stuff back in my inventory. Um, and now the next step is just to make the actual, um, the little areas that they can walk into. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a red team, a yellow team, a green team, and a blue team. Right now we're just making a map for a total of, um only four players you can always add more using the same simple set of commands and I'm going to make the floor that they stand on it's going to be concrete so I'm going to use this 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 and this and I don't want to split that in half okay so now we're gonna have the teams over here so we're gonna put red team right there um, we're gonna put yellow team right next to them we want to put the warm and cold colors together and over here would be the place that you would put like the gray and the brown team or the gray and the black team or those teams uh, basically those will be your extra team slots and then I'm gonna put these two teams right here so I'm um, what we're gonna do now is we are going to put a glass layer in front of each one I'm just gonna put the base glass layer and I will finish that later and this is actually the wrong color of glass um, we don't want that one we want light blue this one uh, we want to try and match the color as closely as possible and now to just make it a little taller and you can always do this in a different style I'm just showing it off the way that I did it um, so then you do this basically you're just gonna put um, a divider in between and you just do that uh, very simple you're just gonna put um dividers so perfect we have this ready so now what we want to do is we want to just build up the walls a little bit so that the players can't jump out of the area and luckily since they have permanent weakness basically while they're uh, within the lobby they won't be able to attack each other um which is awesome Okay, so here we go. We're just going to put the bottom there because um, I like to have everything like that. And once again, you can always add more teams just in this area right over here. You can add another team right here and another team right here. Or you could just make it a longer, um, a longer team selecting area and just add a total of eight teams. You can actually make as many teams as you want. But four teams is going to work the best for now. Okay, so he just left the game. I think, I'm assuming, he, he just um, got disconnected for no reason. Um, so I'm just going to add these walls here. And you can always match the colors. I'm just going to make it all quartz. I want to kind of um, keep the quartz theme here. And so basically what happens if you were to want to teleport yourself into this team... Um, you would be teleported into here, and since you're in adventure mode, you can't do anything. So, what I'm going to do now is I am going to just 
do that. That's completely optional. Honestly, a lot of the stuff I'm doing, you don't have to do at all. So, I'm just gonna patch it up a little bit. There, okay, so this is what we want it to look like, at least somewhat like this. They will be teleported to about right here. I believe this is the exact position, actually. Um, so then our next uh, step after this is to, um, I'm just going to put this all back in my inventory. I could remove it, but I might need it for later. Okay, so next is the command part. So let me get this, and I'm going to put a pressure plate so we can actually control the player that steps on it. Um, a button would be much, much harder to do. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a blackstone pressure plate because, I mean, it's the new pressure plate and I love the nether update, so I'm going to add that. Um, so then what we're going to need next is we are going to need a redstone torch, um, redstone, or, yeah, I'm just going to get redstone also. We're going to need a sticky piston, um, any block that you can move, and a comparator. And I'm also just going to get a, repeat, a repeater for good measure. Um, so here we go. So right here is where the pressure plate's going to activate. So I'm just going to mark out all the areas for this, and then I'm going to start working on the commands. So now the next step actually is to just add the system, which will test for the players, and we'll see if it can tag and teleport the players into here. So basically, we are going to go down here, um, this is our exact position that we need um, it to be, and we're going to put two blocks like that. We're going to put a redstone, and then we are going to uh, make a system that basically will use a command to um, test to make sure that, the, um, that it works. So um, what we're going to do is we are going to make it so that when this activates, it will um, go to right here. Um, we can we can do this, and what we're gonna do now is we are going to make a test for unit, and basically we're going to actually I need to move this block this back one more block. Um, redstone repeater and comparator. Then we need a Repeat command block always active slash test for at a um, x equals this, y equals this, z equals this, r equals 20. And we're not going to put any tags there. So in theory, after we add this command block, um, okay, so it shouldn't say anything. And we just need to add slash say hi. Basically, that's how that would work, and if we try this out, nothing happens. Then, if we add this right here, and we make sure we don't... Yep, okay. Um, perfect. And if we step on here now, it says hi. So, that's how you would make this. It's not actually that complicated. I'm just going to go over it one more time. So, under the pressure plate... Um, you have the redstone, then you have a block that can conduct redstone, a piston facing out like this, a um, block that you can move and conducts redstone. Right here, you test for everybody that's within 20 blocks of it and has the tag of blue. Um, a comparator goes here into a block with a redstone torch, redstone repeater, into the command. So basically, next step um, would be to... Um, to make the actual command chain. So we're, what we're going to do is we are going to um, basically find players that are standing exactly right here. Negative 22 or negative 23, 15, 52. Okay, so we're going to put that in here. So we're going to do slash um, tag at a um, or at p with that's on negative or that's on 20 negative x equals negative 22, y equals 15, z equals 52, um, basically that's, that's going to be that, and we're going to put add blue, and then um, 
we should see so negative 23 15 52 and I'm just going to put always active or needs redstone sorry um previous output and the previous output should say okay so if you notice this is deactivated that's because I have the tag of blue so I'm gonna do slash tag at s remove blue and it activates now the next the next part would be uh, we need these exact coordinates again and we are going to put a let me just build up because I need to be crouched um, we are going to put a um, apparently I have to be exactly under it we are now going to put a chain command block slash TP at a um, tag equals blue um, X equals negative 22 um, Y equals 15 and Z equals 52 to um, the position that we want so we're gonna have to look at that um, yep perfect and then we are going to put it to right here negative 25 15 52 so we're just gonna do um, negative 25 15 52 um, and then we are also going to put conditional um, just to make sure we get the least errors with this and then that's perfect so that's exactly what we want and if we step here we need to first make sure we don't nothing's getting messed up I yep I had blues really my command block why slash tag at s remove blues I don't know why that was even a tag um so now we're gonna try it again and perfect we got teleported to exactly right here and this works amazingly so now um, if I was in adventure mode I wouldn't be able to mine anything and now we just have to repeat this on all the other areas so I'm gonna do this repeating everything off camera because I already showed the main one which is pretty easy after that you just have to get the coordinates and everything um, make sure you have show coordinates on or this won't work how you want it to and then basically this is how um, you would do it so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have you stay tuned for the next episode and hopefully you'll subscribe so that we can beat the bro public in the 100 sub challenge which would be amazing if we could do that um, so remember to subscribe and stay tuned for our next Bed Wars video, so, or our next Bed Wars creation video. So we'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.